after a recent poll by the Roanoke Area Youth Substance Abuse Coalition that shows 31% of people surveyed were unaware of the risks and dangers that come with pressing your luck. WFXR's Amari Williams sat down with experts to talk about finding help for those who might be struggling. With more accessibility comes greater responsibility. Experts say gambling is now an issue that can affect anyone with a phone. Online gambling platforms, sports betting, and online games with gambling features in it, there has been an increased need to educate adults and youth on the risk of problem gambling. A recent poll with 500 Roanoke residents found that many a young adult respondents were unsure of how to find help with gambling addiction, and yet 18 to 25 year olds already make up 16% of calls made to the Virginia Council on Problem Gambling Hotline. Experts believe with more exposure, many more will be able to find help for this addiction. So there's a stigma that it's an easily controllable, like just stop doing it. It's your problem. What are you doing with your money? Come on, get over it. Which I'm thrilled we've destigmatized the you know other drugs uh, or drugs in general as a whole. Right? Our society has said people need help, and that's awesome. We need to get to the same place with gambling. Carlin advises parents to talk with their children early about the risks associated with gambling, which include behavior patterns that compromise, disrupt, or damage personal, family, or vocational pursuits. And it can also result in financial ruin, legal problems, loss of career and family, and sometimes even suicide. And being willing to talk about the issue. Don't let fear of the topic keep you from having a conversation you know you want to and need to have. Some common ways to spot gambling addiction are obsessiveness, boasting about how much money was lost, or lying about how much you played. If you or someone you know is struggling with a gambling addiction, experts advise calling 1-800-GAMBLER. In Blacksburg, Imari Williams, WFXR News.